Leo, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm ready, Leo. We're going to go ahead and get started on an energy check in, but you want to see what is the most important for you to know at this time. Please keep in mind it is general, it is collective. So you may be resonating with one of your other placements better than this one, Leo, okay? But take it how it resonates. Don't force the shoe to fit. If it doesn't resonate, it just doesn't, okay? Um, thank you for all the love and support, Leo. You are appreciated, okay? Thank you so much. All right, so let's see. What do we have for Leo today? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. What's going on with Leo? What does Leo need to know at this time? When you see it as when you're meant to see it, Leo, if you need to refer back to it later, please do, okay? If you want more exclusive content outside of YouTube, Patreon, you would love it if you like it here, okay? So join us. What do we have for Leo? Only way to book personal reading is the email address in my description box. What's going on for Leo? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. Career and happiness, okay? I like it. Beauty is behind that. Okay. Um, for one, go check your career readings for, <laughs> if you're on Patreon. Um... You may find something leading along those lines also in the Taurus reading, okay? So let's see though. Something that's going to make you very happy, Leo. Let's see. What do we have? Archangel Michael, please protect me. If you believe, Taurus got that. Yes. Thank you. Opportunity. Thank you, spirit. I just love y'all so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. I love that. Oh, something's gonna make you happy. So something requires faith. Okay, believing in miracles. Like it requires having hope, being hopeful, being positive. Look at that. I just seen the star card with the eight of pentacles. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. What do we have here for Leo? What's going on? The moon with the ace of cups. The star. Oh my gosh. So it, 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 it like I said, you're going to have to go beneath the surface. You're not going to know every single whatever, 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 whatever. It's something kind of mysterious about whatever this is. Okay. Not just a secret this would be like you having to actually explore the opportunity to get further information you're not going to know everything out the gate okay you're just going to know if you want to even go back and forth or play with it or not so you'll know how much it pays what the hours are what the person intends to get from you and what you will be given. You will know everything up front, okay? All right? So you got the Wheel of Fortune. That type of stuff will not be hit. Just the regular stuff that you get with any other job. You can work at any big company anywhere. And you just know what your job is, the benefits package, the how much you get paid. But you don't know about that coworker that's running schemes and that's going to invite you to dinner. You don't know who that is. You know what I'm saying? Look at that when I said that. The higher front with the seven of swords. Mm-hmm. You don't know about you don't know about the person that's finna run this scheme on you. Okay? Everything has its hidden stuff. Okay? So anyway, what do we have? What's going on? The ten of swords. You just don't you don't make something that's meant to be an epic fail don't don't just don't as long as you don't um overlook the speed bumps you'll be okay okay because something isn't gonna just go smooth like that something is gonna feel kind of off a little bit you got the five of pentacles the star card all right you got the hangman You got the three of wands. Three of cups. The 
The number three or 33 could be significant. You got the six of wands here. So make sure, just make sure. You got the ace of pentacles here. Come on now. Use your intuition. Use your gift of discernment. Like really like Leo, like for real. Like go the extra mile to see. Like it's going to be something about it that if you knew it, you would just leave it completely out. So maybe go with your, you need to, you need to like maybe ask the questions of what you absolutely don't have a care for and you know you don't want to run into in the future. You need to ask that. Because I feel like something could be more so upcoming, like. When we seen the five of pentacles, we got the star card. Like it's something about this offer that you're already set in your mind. Like maybe you could be a little bit more flexible with other things. But it's something that's set in your mind that you're like, I want no part. So this would be like if you wanted to say if it's a relationship type of thing. You would just, you're the type of person that's like, I don't want polygamy. I want where it's just two of us. You need to be, it's something like that though. And it's something that this person may not tell you up front that you would actually care about down the line. So you may be dealing with an energy here who's not telling you something. It's kind of like lying by omission. Like if they just keep that part out, then they didn't lie to you. So you need to be focused on like really think about it here. What will somebody not tell you? Because there's definitely something hidden here. It could be a third party. They could be backstabbing and betraying somebody else. Uh, somebody's leaving a part out, like with the Five of Pentacles and the Moon card above it. Like somebody is not telling you a piece of something about whatever this opportunity, this career thing is. But it's the very thing that you wouldn't want no parts of like, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, like I would never sign up to do that. Why didn't you tell me that? And they're going to be like, yeah, you didn't ask. Okay, so... Mm, so Leo, all right. So something could definitely be some fine print in a contract. Just make sure you know what you're getting into is what they're saying. Look at that. Look at that now. Look at it. That's the seven of cups with the king of pentacles. So something looks like it's an excess of blah, blah, blah. Or that's all somebody see is the money or what they could have materialistically. That's what this is. Page of swords It's how something looks. What you can see with your naked eye. That's what this is. But something is an illusion. So that could be what somebody is trying to sell you on. What you can have. Ooh, look at me. Look at this. The three of pentacles with the magician. Look at me. Look at how successful I am. How well I'm doing. Don't you want to do that too? Come on over here. Come on. Let's come on. But it's like whatever this is. It's something that you don't see about it that you're not asking questions about okay something is going to stagnate you stagnate your success what you don't see here okay um make sure you're not sabotaging um any opportunities remain grounded okay all right the majors you have out here is the moon the will of fortune with the hangman so like i said something about something is hidden be it good or bad though okay maybe somebody doesn't show up with all the fluff on the outside i forgot who i was getting that like where somebody would have the abundance on the inside okay that probably was the taurus reading as well but anyway let me get one on the moon clarify the moon please the king of wands so image okay something could have something to do with public image maybe you just feel like something you you don't like something because of how it looks publicly or something like that. Maybe something just doesn't appeal to you or something like I just feel like something else throws you off. Yeah, I feel like something that would make you happy isn't quite it's not like um I guess clout approved. <laughs> Like somebody could not be like a clout chaser. Maybe somebody doesn't like to be seen like that. Or they're just not flashy. They're not flashy. And maybe you think somebody has something to hide. Thank you, Spirit. Seven of Cups, Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. 
Somebody has internal abundance. Okay? That's what this is. Like, the way they show up, what's hidden is the way they show up is not who they are. Okay? Feminine or masculine, something is going to throw you off. So if you're simple-minded and you care more about what it looks like and being on the winning team and everybody winning, everybody eating, everybody did. I mean, that's good. I, I love that. Eat win whatever you know but something is just like it's the fame is not the, it's like the blast and the celebration of it like ends fast like whatever this is like it's like when the illusion blows over there's ten of pentacles i mean sorry there's ten of swords here with the five of pentacles like when i say it's like pulling the cords out the wall cutting the light off like it's like a production, like, all right, you ain't got to go home, but you like the club closing, but you got to get up out of here. It's something like that. Okay. So don't get so caught up. Stay grounded. Don't get so caught up on what something looks like, because that is the illusion. If you're judging it by outside alone, you're losing, period. Okay. Let me get one on the hangman. Okay. This is like the rich man being really poor. And the poor man on the street is really rich. Okay. It's something like that. Let me get one as the hangman. People don't have to. This this person, whoever this other person is, or whatever this other rowdy is, is somebody who's not like braggadocious. Okay. They're not. Okay. The hangman, but they're really the one that's really successful underneath it all. And they have a lot in their bag. The hang, the hangman, four cups with the chariot so something is going to stagnate you okay you're going to miss out here you got the chariot with the knight of wands with the ace of pentacles here okay so something could have something to do with it just because somebody is attractive same thing we just said so just make sure you know or something just appears to be so good that pentacle look great as freak man like this is like the kind of chick that you just like what like them a lot of zeros like it's something like that if something is going to be very enticing it is something comes with a lot of drama though somebody could also be leaving out the fact that they have like a spouse somebody could also be leaving out the fact that they of their real profession like you know where do you really work Like, somebody's just leaving something out. They're leaving out something that's just going to be conflicting on down the line. Okay? And they just could be very neglectful. They don't... They're trying to have a good time. They're not... You know, they're just never home or something like that. So you would have think this person just has a lot and they're single or something. Somebody could very be very well be married and promiscuous here. Okay, but take it how it resonates. Um, please take it how it resonates. Anyway, let me get one on the uh Wheel of Fortune, please. The Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Pentacles with the High Priestess. So somebody is single. The High Priestess can also speak of someone being on the side. You got the Nine of Wands here with the Queen of Cups. So something can have something to do with somebody who wants to... Somebody can have just like a volatile third party or an ex. Like somebody could be wanting to kill something with somebody to be happy. Like they just don't want any parts. They want to be single. They're turning their back. They're not interested in a certain energy or this is what it is. And so, or that somebody wants someone not to be interested in you. It's something like that. And somebody's throwing salt here. Somebody, whoever this person is, is like throwing salt on somebody's name though. Or character or public image or their reputation. It's something like that though. Which is going to be a telltale sign because you have nothing better. To, successful people don't, they're not, they don't have an interest in trying to stop other people from being successful. I mean, usually that's what unsuccessful people do. They have the time. So that's what this is. Like, 
So just make sure you don't miss out on a great opportunity um, with someone, whether, you know, this could be just platonic friends, like, you, cause you know, just make sure you, you know, you're not just leaving something, whatever this divine love is out in the cold due to pride and being too high up because somebody here is good on their own. Okay. Like they don't need you. Somebody also like, this is the type of energy where you cannot buy this person. And for those of you who, who where that's where it's at with you, it just looks like you're bound to just have a lot. Some of you do. You have a lot. Like that is where things are fated to go for you. That's what you have coming in. Good favor. Where you're going to have just a lot in surplus. For some of you, you do have a spouse coming in. Yeah. You could have a spouse coming in, but they could have like a bitter ex. Yeah, but it's it's only because this person wants no parts. So something could have something to do with that because somebody is like dropping whoever this is. Yeah. Mm -mm, they're just no longer interested. Somebody could have just been good for somebody's image, but nothing else was there. Like it just doesn't. Somebody feels like they're being shortchanged. And this is also someone who's codependent on them as well. And they're just like, oh my gosh, like yeah, turn around. You... You need me to help you tie your shoe, chew your gum, cook your food, feed you. I mean, I got about the soap, the tissue, pay the, 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 the all the bills in the house. <laughs> and I mean, and the only thing you could do is, I guess, like, like I said, something could be just like a sexual connection for some people. It's like somebody just feels like they're not even, and somebody may even be neglecting that. They just don't do anything. They just were tied to the person. Let me get one on the Ace of Cups. Like, you don't even do much. You're lazy. Somebody is lazy, though. You got, Let me get one of the Ace of Cups. Like, their stability, they able to look good. The secret is they're able to look good because the other person keeps them afloat. The Ace of Cups, or whoever this third party is that you don't see. Who is this for? Who's reading is this? Leo. Okay. Uh, two of Wands. Ace of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what somebody doesn't see. And, you know, maybe somebody forgot. They got amnesia. Like, they forgot that they actually needed the person that they were not seeing about or putting extra effort to try to appear and illusion the fact. Like, somebody just felt like they were going to get more out of something and something is just not a success. Okay. But it looks like you can see something clear as day. Something looks like a good investment because it is. Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Okay, so it looks like somebody could see something. Somebody sabotaged something, left whatever this Ace of Cups is, willingly left whatever this is out in the cold. They could see that. Yeah. So it looks like you're just, um, you were meant to share whatever this is. Or you and this person were meant to be abundant together, Leo. But it looks like you're just going to be able to get this by yourself. Yeah, whatever this career thing is, this work thing. Yeah. It just looks like it's all yours now. Somebody was meant to pair up with you, go into union, share resources. And y'all were supposed to invest with each other back and forth. And that didn't happen because they just weren't interested. They were caught up on. They like illusions. Seven of Cups moon card. They like illusions. This person loves illusions. And they're not like a very spiritual person or a person that has faith. Like they don't. This person doesn't have like. They don't like really believe. And like this is a type of like they're very practical. It's not a bad thing, but they just really like. Something was like somebody's destiny and where they were going and where they were headed or even who they were in the past life. Because it looks like somebody here rejected in this lifetime somebody that they were married to in another lifetime. Like you were reconciling right here on earth. This like you had both reincarnated and somebody who had the material wealth, the other person maybe isn't so like. It's basically your opposite is what this is. So somebody's opposite 
somebody didn't see the opportunity in somebody because they didn't show up looking a certain kind of way or they don't have the same background or upbringing or whatever the case. But the inside of the person housed their dream, their wish come true, the very thing that would really give them back something when they put their token in, it would actually give them back something. So somebody missed the beauty in something here. So something is meant for you to have alone in this lifetime because your counterpart dropped the ball here. For some of you, that's what you got going on right now. Make sure you choose them wisely. There's new love coming in here. Don't sabotage it. Actually see beyond what you think you can see with your eyes. Because something talks a good game, but it don't give you nothing back. That's it. Okay? Um, it's just a place filler. And it's not the same. So, so just make sure. Don't let a third party confuse you here. Um, you could be seeing number synchronicities, double sixes, double threes. Um, yeah. It looks like that's it. I'm going to leave it there. That's your reading. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, Leo. Until next time, you may find more in the Sagittarius reading, the Pisces reading, um, the Cancer reading, the Taurus reading, okay? Um, catch you later. Bye.